Hi, uh, Commander Chris Hadfield here, and I wanted to take a moment to answer a few questions that have come in about uh, my new book, The Apollo Murders. And the first of them was, uh, what inspired me to write this book, and why a thriller? I've flown in space three times, been around the world, you know, 2,600 times. It's an incredible personal experience. And I've written a book of, you know, what it meant to me and a book of images and a children's book. But I thought, what if I could take that story and, and tell it by way of a of an action-packed thriller that takes place on board a spaceship. <clears throat> People could get the real visceral feel of what it's actually like in space. And also, of course, just to study the history of what happened in Apollo and weave this story into the reality uh, in a way that makes it entertaining and memorable, kind of a personal challenge. So that's why I decided to write the action thriller, The Apollo Murders. The main character in The Apollo Murders is a guy named Kaz. Kazimiris is his whole name, Kazimiris Zemeckis. He is a Navy test pilot who had an accident and as a result lost his medical. And I won't tell you how because uh, it's pretty graphic. Um, but since he is a qualified test pilot and who'd been selected as an astronaut, then he provides the perfect guy on the ground to, to take care of the crew and try and solve all the problems as they're on their way up to, you know, the the shenanigans that happen in orbit and then all the way to the moon and back. So the, the protagonist of the Apollo murders is Kaz Zemeckis, uh, an expert, um, but uh, someone with a past, and I think you'll find him an interesting guy. Uh, next question is, uh, what in my opinion is the scariest part of being in space? Well, hopefully you're not scared. You don't want an astronaut all scared, but there's some dangerous things, that's for sure. And the most dangerous moment of any space flight is launch. And then I think the next most dangerous is, uh, is doing a spacewalk. And I've been outside on two spacewalks and in the Apollo murders, there is uh, a few spacewalks and one of them uh, really demonstrates a different type of danger that can happen when there's nothing between you and the eternal vacuum emptiness of space, but the little bit of cloth of your spacesuit. Um, next question. <clears throat> what are my, some of my favorite uh, book thriller writers? Gosh, so many. I love reading thriller books and action books. Um, I love Sherlock Holmes. Uh, I like, uh, so Arthur Conan Doyle. I loved uh, the science fiction authors writing Asimov and Bradbury and, and Arthur C. Clarke. I get to spend a day with Arthur C. Clarke at the Kennedy Space Center showing him around the launch pad. Um, currently, I like uh, Lee Child, I like uh, Jonathan Kellerman, uh, I love John D. MacDonald who wrote the Travis McGee series, That's, those are just so, I love Dick Francis, he's passed away now, but his stories are just so beautiful and exquisite. There's so many authors I like, uh, but you know, those are some of the, oh, Frederick Forsyth, man, he's the master. And Frederick Forsyth loved this book I wrote a recommendation for it. I couldn't believe it, pinch me. Um, What's the one thing I learned from writing a novel versus nonfiction? They're both really hard. Uh, the beauty of writing uh, a novel, uh, thriller fiction, is that um, you kind of head off and you don't really know where you're gonna go. You know, writing about my own life or about something I understand, it's more, more of textbooky. But this, you start off and, and you don't, I wrote myself into corners several times, had to go for long walks and talks with my wife and going, how am I gonna write myself out of this? And what do I do now? But also, I kept realizing just how little I know about spaceflight and had to do tremendous amount of research. So a, a lot of fun in writing the Apollo murders was learning so much about how they actually did those things and how it compared to my own spaceflight experiences. Uh, so I think you're going to enjoy this book, The Apollo Murders. Uh, it takes place in 1973. It is uh, all of the background shenanigans. Over half the characters are real people. I would say 95% of the stuff that's in this book is stuff that really happened. And I wove this plot of an Apollo crew uh, that ends up uh, interfacing with a, a secret Soviet spy space station that's real and then uh, going to the moon and interfacing with this Soviet rover that was on the moon that's real and, uh, and then coming home. Cosmonauts and astronauts in, in a rip snorter of a plot.